1908 Republican National Convention, Wikipedia article audio. The 1908 Republican National Convention was held in Chicago Coliseum, Chicago, Illinois on June 16 to June 19, 1908. It convened to nominate a successor to the popular GOP president, Theodore Roosevelt and his vice president, Charles W. Fairbanks. U.S. Secretary of War William H. Taft of Ohio won Roosevelt's endorsement and received the nomination. The convention nominated New York Representative James S. Sherman to be his running mate. The Republican platform celebrated the Roosevelt administration's economic policies such as the keeping of the protective tariff, establishment of a permanent currency system, additional government supervision and control over trusts. It championed enforcement of railroad rate laws giving the Interstate Commerce Commission authority to investigate interstate railroads, and reduction of work hours for railroad workers, as well as general reduction in the work week. In foreign policy, it supported a buildup of the armed forces, protection of American citizens abroad, extension of foreign commerce, vigorous arbitration in the Hague Treaties, a revival of the U.S. Merchant Marine, support of war veterans, self-government for Cuba and the Philippines with citizenship for residents of Puerto Rico. In other areas, it advocated court reform, creation of a Federal Bureau of Mines and Mining, extension of rural mail delivery, environmental conservation, upholding of the rights of African Americans in the civil service, and greater efficiency in national public health agencies. The platform lastly expressed pride in U.S. involvement in the building of the Panama Canal, the admission of the New Mexico and Arizona territories, called for the celebration of the birthday of Abraham Lincoln, and generally deplored the Democratic Party while celebrating the policies of the Republicans. The platform explained the differences between democracy and republicanism in which the Republicans made clear that democracy was leaning towards socialism and republicanism towards individualism which is actually consistent with modern party critiques. The following individuals spoke at the 1908 Republican National Convention. Many spoke with the goal of nominating a specific nominee as this was before the age of the primary and the nominees were all decided at the convention. Prior to the convention, Vice President Charles Fairbanks and New York Governor Charles Evans Hughes both seemed like plausible nominees, but Roosevelt was determined to pick his own successor. Though Roosevelt preferred Secretary of State Elihu Root, Root's age and background in corporate law made him an unpalatable nominee, so Roosevelt instead supported Secretary of War William Howard Taft. Entering the convention, Taft, buoyed by the support of the popular Roosevelt, was virtually assured of the nomination. Taft won the presidential nomination on the first ballot, overcoming Fairbanks and the other candidates. Taft preferred a progressive running mate such as Indiana Senator Albert Beveridge or Iowa Senator Jonathan Dolliver but Rep. James S. Sherman of New York had the support of Speaker Joseph Gurney Cannon and the New York delegation. Sherman was a fairly conservative Republican who was nonetheless acceptable to the more progressive wing of the party. Sherman won the vice presidential nomination on the first ballot, taking 816 of the 979 votes cast. Former New Jersey Governor Franklin Murphy received 77 votes while Massachusetts Governor Curtis Guild, Jr. received 75 votes with the remaining votes going to Governor George L. Sheldon of Nebraska and Vice President Charles Fairbanks. Governor Curtis Guild, Jr. of Massachusetts. Former Governor Franklin Murphy of New Jersey. Governor George L. Sheldon of Nebraska. Representatives James S. Sherman of New York. Senator, Albert J. Beveridge of Indiana. Governor, Albert B. Cummins of Iowa. Senator, Jonathan P. Dolliver of Iowa. Attorney General. Herbert S. Hadley of Missouri. Governor, Charles E. Hughes of New York.